So now we're going to start working on the stealth part of the system. Now this is the, that's a little translucent LED diffuser that does that stops it being like a big bright light, and it actually that's where the LED sits into that little uh, retainer there. And this little piece here goes on the outside of that and sits into the black little black housing there. It makes a funny little clicking noise. Not sure if you can hear it. No, I missed it. So grab these LED, the LED line, um, and how it goes. That yeah, that one slots in there. Like so. And then there's little routing grooves through here that you put the the you the, sit the LED down into here, and then the little bit of wire folds up into this little area here, and then it comes back, and then folds up, and then comes up to the top, and then this part here sits in. <clears throat> I remember this is the first time I've actually done this so I'm kind of discovering as I go trying to figure it all out so it's kind of a bit of a get in there and don't punch too hard with that <clears throat> just make it uh, Go in there with a little gentle persuasion, <laughs> don't get too rough with it or you'll end up cutting the wires. And then the LED slit slots in like that. A little cable tucks up around the back. And then try and get it underneath that little retaining arm there. Hopefully it'll all sit in there. Once you get uh, it more installed you can come back and press all that stuff into place. But it's all fresh wire so it's going to be it's going to take a bit of bending to get back into position <clears throat> and then this one here just slots in There we go. A little bit of gentle persuasion. It's reasonably tight to get in there so it doesn't fly out. So it's a, it's a pretty cool little case actually. Just going to flick it out just to check, make sure I've got it right. Yeah, that's it turn around another 90 degrees to make it easier to get the wiring up <clears throat> and then the little diffuser goes into the front case there you get your screwdriver and then just click that into place Give it a firm press to get it in there, and it'll sit up right up, right up through the front face there. <clears throat> I'm 
trying to use up a little bit of wire so it um, doesn't have too much wire at the top there. So that goes with the LED facing towards um, the back of it, or the front of it. So it faces this way and, and towards here so that it sits into the little diffuser. It takes a little bit of get, getting in. It's quite, um, quite a bit of pressure involved to actually get that sitting in there. And then just give it a bit of persuasion to get into position. <laughs> <clears throat> so we can route those cables and stuff a little bit later once we once we get it a, a, bit, a little bit further so yeah so those three wires are obviously for the LED so that's uh, no brainer for when you're wiring it up black black and black Just a little bit of cable management here to get them routed in properly. They're quite sturdy cables actually, they're quite, it's quite hard wire. So it takes a fair bit of pressure to get it all into position because it's kind of like quite bouncy and it's not like normal soft silicon wiring. It's quite tough. Uh, which is good because once you've got it in position it holds its position. It doesn't like kind of spring out again. So it's pretty good. Because what I was confused about was I didn't really know where this cable went, like where it was supposed to end up. It just kind of draws it in the manual, it kind of draws it off into the into the ethos. So, it, but it's actually fine where it is. So that's the wiring part done and now we've got to put this unit in here.
So I've actually ground the lugs off that. So I've basically got a linisher because it's got two big lugs that go on the, that are on, on it. So you need to actually take them off and then you split the case by snipping those little clips off. Well, I didn't realise that just there until I was like, oh, hang on a minute, what's going on here? So those little clips there, one there and there's one on the back, I want one side and one on this side over here, they need to be snipped off so that the cases come apart <clears throat> because only one half of the, the fan and the back case actually go in, not the front as well, which I didn't realise until, you know, I went to put it in. So just snip them off. Same with the back side. So I've ground the lugs off, um, you know, but I didn't realise that you actually, and there's the third one there. Once you've got those off, because you do need to snip them off clean so that you can <coughs> get the unit in there and that piece just falls off. And then that, <coughs> that, that snail goes into the, so that fan actually faces the front. I was a little bit worried that I'd broken it, <laughs> so yeah. So I just give it a little bit of a sand off to um, give it a bit of a tidy up, so make it a bit easier to get in there. You end up having to take these out later anyway to put your little tool board in. Uh, the little pin out board, the SB0000, four zeros. You probably screw that in there now if you wanted to do that. So go and grab your SB0000 um, pin out board. And you could put that in there. Just saying. Right, so that's pretty much the guts of it. If you weren't going to put a CAN bus on, that's how you how you do it. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Um, thanks for tuning in. If you like what you see, please comment below. If you've got any suggestions or information that you'd like to share, um, more than happy to check it out. So smash the like. Hit the subscribe and ring the bell and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, Westy over and out.